Hello everyone, in this video, let us see how to create our service layer that is web APIs project. So I need to create a web API, then I need to add connection string as we have added in our UI project or console UI. Then I need to add the reference of business object layer, reference of business logic layer. Why? Because my service is going to interact with business logic layer and business logic layer is going to interact with data access layer and data access layer will work on my database. So again, I need to add entity framework, DLLs. I need to install course. Now what is course? Cross domains for accessing the service which is in one domain from another domain because my service will may be on one server and my client that is going to consume this service may be on some other server. So I need to have this cross domain interaction. So for that I need to install cos. Then I need to create roles controller. Then I need to create controllers. One controller for role, one controller for employee, a controller for upload controller and a controller for login. So we will see uh, upload when we come across uploading images and we will see login when we come across authentication and authorization. So as of now let us implement role controller and employee controller with our APIs. So I'll just select the solution, right click, say add new project. This time I'm going to select web ASP.NET web application. I will name it as EIS dot API say OK. Now I'm going to make it an empty web API project. Say OK. Just cancel this. So we got our API project. Now in this project, I need to add references. I need to add business logic layer, business object layer, and then I need to add entity framework DLLs these are nothing but these two things that we added in our earlier console UI project I also need to add connection string in my web config file so here I'm going to add connection string so I already have connection string available with me I'll just drag and drop it over here I'll save this And I also need to install course manage NuGet packages and from here I'll say course so Microsoft ASP.NET web API course select this I'll say install I'll say I accept so it has installed successfully you can see that this package contains the components to enable cross origin resource sharing in ASP.NET Web API. That is cross platform resource sharing. You can say platform in the sense domains. Now let me select the controller and right click and add controller web api 2 empty controller i'm going to add an empty controller i'll name it as role i'll simply say add so my role controller inherits api controller so i have the code ready with me for this controller with all your crud operations that is nothing but your get post put delete so I'll simply select this class, drag and drop it here. So you can see that it is going to interact with my business logic layer, role BS, creating the object in the constructor of this controller. And the return type is I enumerable role. So resource type it is available in system.web.http description and role is available in eis.bol business object layer so if you are not aware with web api you can go through my web api course and you can 
get well acquainted with this technology then come to this project so i have a get method which is going to interact with my business logic layer and it will get all the records i'm trying to return all those records as i enumerable role that is my response type with ok as my status code this is get by id if i pass a particular id i'll get that particular record if record is null it will say not found in the same way i have post method role model dot is valid so i'm trying to validate the object then i'll call insert if it is successful then i'm retaining the record id else i'm going to send bad request and model state same way put delete these are the methods that i have so simple things simple operations simple cred operations which are in this class i'll save this now i'll just right click on this and say set as startup project and yes we have uh, installed course so as of now we do not understand its importance uh, once we start consuming this service then we will come to know about its importance but as of now so here i'll say config dot enable course save this i have set this project as startup project now let me execute this now whenever i want to access api basically i need to say slash api slash say for example i want to access role so i'll say role so by default it is going to hit get method of my e api so by default it is going to hit this now let us see that so we are at this point i'll say f5 i should get all the roles i get admin 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 and user so these are the roles that that are available in my database you can see that now let me get rid of this to extra admins now if i say enter say f5 so i get two roles that is admin and user now i'll put a breakpoint here get by id if i say slash 5 that means i'm trying to pass this id so it should hit this so i get a single record now that is user so this is our role controller in the same way i can create employee controller as well i'll just right click stop this first i'll simply right click say add controller same empty controller i'll name it as employee controller i'll say add i will try to copy everything and replace role with employee this is the advantage of following standards while coding now response type first of all i want to make it with web dot http description then role anyway i need eis dot bol so instead of role bs i need employee bs and employee bs is again present in business logic layer so instead of role obj bs i'll say employee obj bs and my controller is employee controller and employee obj bs is the object so i'm going to replace it everywhere and this is also employee employee record 
and I'm going to check employee and here I'll say employee that's it my delete is perfect in update again I should say employee employee and even here it is employee even this is also employee so this is perfect the return type is again employee for insert again type is employee common that object employee so my post method is perfect now and this is again employee this I'll change it to employee employee and employee finally here the object is employee bs object and we know very well uh, employee id is not int it is a string so i need to say string here you can see that in our business object layer employee id is a string same thing here to delete it should be a string that's it now let me create one employee the top 200 rows now let me create an employee e0 admin at gmail.com that's it now let me execute this first of all let me check role so I'm able to get all the roles now I look for employee to fix this serialization error I can simply go to data access layer and in this constructor I can say configuration dot proxy creation enabled equals to false now let me save this and execute it now I get the record now whenever I say enable proxy creation false uh, actually this is your entity framework concept uh, it will stop moving into infinite loop why because we have a relationship here that is uh, your primary key and foreign key relationship that is your navigation property now it starts navigating it it, it starts from employee and see that it has role so it will go into the role table create sub object then in role you have list of employees then it will create sub object for employee then employee has role then it will create sub so it it goes into the infinite loop so to get rid of that we set enable proxy creations to false so finally we are done with our web api in our next video we will start creating our ui using angular js that's it for this video thank you very much